All right, so we're going to be kicking off our React Andy segment for this week, uh, starting off with uh, a content creator we never watched before called Duct. Uh, they are talking about how the upcoming changes, so the roadmap that they laid out for the balance changes for killers, perks, etc., rolling out next year, uh, how those changes are worrying them. So especially when it's a first time watching your creator, make sure you hit that link that just showed up in the Twitch chat. If you're watching in from the future on YouTube, it'll be down in the description below. So let's see what the homie is worried about when it comes to the new changes. Ooh, Ugh. yeah, it's got a mood to it. Got a vibe. Joy, what if I don't want to? What's poppin' people? My name is Duckhead, and Duckhead, today sorry, I've Duck. looked at the upcoming live updates for Dead by Daylight in basically yeah. the month of 2024. And this work, this this roadmap worries the fuck out of me. And I finally gotten around to talking about it. This roadmap. Before I get before he gets too far into it, I think what worries me the most about it is like, besides like Pig here and like Demogorgon's add-ons, like these killers are. I don't know what you can do to these killers. I don't know if they really need adjusting. So I don't know what they're... I don't know what's going to happen with a lot of these... A lot of this stuff over here. It kind of worries me, but... Other than that, there's nothing that sticks out to me. It's like, oh gosh, I don't want that to happen. Where's the fuck out of me? So first of all, let's look at the killers they're going to be updating. They're going to be updating... Sadako, Hillbilly, Blight, Hag, Pig, Demogorgon, Clown, Dr. Twins... So, uh, some of those killers are puzzling as fuck. Well, the problem is, like, Zeus, they specifically for Blight, for Blight's changes, they said Blight's add-ons. So, when they're, when they're adjusting a killer update, when doing a killer update or a killer tweak, they specifically say add-ons only on Blight, but they don't do that for these killers. So, we can, like, you know, opium that, like, you know, that's not what's happening. And it's just like an add-on thing, but like based on how they laid it out in the roadmap, it was add-ons only. They've indicated, so it's just like why are you fucking touching them, Sadako? Didn't we just rework her? Unless you're gonna make it to where she isn't able to spread condemn this easily, I suppose that's an okay-ish change. Even Sadako, you guys have heard my my spiel on Sadako. Sadako is a very flowchart killer on both sides, playing as and against her. Almost every match of hers plays out the same. And when the whole point of DB is that's asim and every match is supposed to be like varied and different, like having a character that plays this like the same way almost every time is not my favorite. No, I think she's in a good place right now because she has so. effective slowdown. You know, she's not too goddamn pr crazy powerful. She has effective slowdown. Maybe I, I don't play her that much. So maybe I'm ignorant when it comes to her and I don't play against her that much. So maybe I'm ignorant when it comes to talking about her. But in my opinion, from what I do when I play her, it doesn't seem like she needs that much because she she fucking think about it. She only has her condemned playstyle. She's still a regular ass M1 killer that has to catch up to you and play the fucking game. That's still what she is. And sometimes you don't even get enough time to teleport around the map because you have to pressure these survivors over and over and over again at these. High but teleporting around the map is how you pressure the survivors because that forces them to get tapes. So I am Mars. But maybe she's eviscerating low MMR, so that's why they're updating her. Yeah, she is. Uh, yes. Sadako, even before her update, had a very high kill rate. So I imagine now that she's even easier, that she has an even higher kill rate. Uh, slightly. Hillbilly. The only thing you need to do to Hillbilly, behavior, please, for the love of fucking God. The only thing you need to do to Hillbilly is buff that man. Okay. That's the only thing. I was, I was like, the not excited about that. What's happening to Hillbilly right now is you fucking. Buff his add-ons every single. No, Sadako can't be played in a few ways. Literally, like that, like Sadako plays the same way every single game. Every single game, even if you're not actively trying to go for like condemn only, you're just kind of passively condemning people just by using your teleport ability. That's what I don't find her very entertaining. Like you are literally locked into like, you know, it, you're locked into a very very like guard railed experience. Uh, while playing as or against her. Fucking one of his add-ons. Buff his add-ons and remove his goddamn overheat. It, or make some add-ons base kit. That's the stealth only thing Sadako? Be happy what do you... I don't know what you're talking about. Can you explain what so Stealth Sadako is? That's not really... I mean, that, that also doesn't dissuade at all what I said, which is like, you're passively condemning people just by teleporting around anyway, unless you just 
choose willingly to not use half your base kit, which is weird. Billy, if they nerf Hillbilly in any way, if they do it, I might drop this fucking game. Because that shit would piss me the fuck off. You better not fucking nerf Hillbilly. All right. Next, we have the Blight add-ons. Finally, it took you four years. That man came out in 2020, and his add-ons have been fucking busted as shit. Really fucking good across the board for four years. Yeah, for God, about goddamn time y'all address this man's add-ons. Fucking hell, man. If you nerf him, I'm fine with that. That's cool. Um, His base kit's fine, but like his add-ons are fucking stupid. Yep. So, Hag. Hag, um, I don't play her that much, and I don't play against her that much, but in my opinion, the only thing she would need is a buff, in my opinion. Really? Maybe make her 115% moves. I don't fucking know. In my opinion, is the she only weak? thing she would need is a buff. Is Hag weak right now? I thought she was fine. Is Hag weak? I never, I've never looked at Hag and gone, that killer needs something. You know, I think she's kind of exists in her own little bubble of, like, the little anti-meta of DBD. I think she's I, you know, I think she's fine the way she is, right? But I don't play her that much, and I don't play against her that much. But the, I know the healing changes; they've they've kind of improved her. But the endurance meta fucks her over. Um, how slow she is fucks her over. How fast gin speeds go, and how slow gin slowdown is. Uh, I, I still think it's interesting that we talk so much about the endurance meta, and there's like two perks that can consistently grant endurance, which is like off the record and dead hard. <laughs> like we're still talking about the endurance meta, even though like there's not a whole lot of like perks that consistently apply it. So I don't know how, how ineffective right, I appreciate you her. kind of fucks her Hopefully over. So the only fun. thing you need to be doing for, for the people. Oh yeah. Was, the pig. So it's I don't need three. to say anything about pig. If it's not straight buffs across the board, I don't know what the fuck you're doing behavior. Uh, Huntress. Why are we even touching Huntress? Why? I agree. Why? There's nothing problematic with her. She had her ear disc and head add on, butchered, neutered, and it kept. As it should. Like, <laughs> having all those free instant downs is silly. It's really, really silly. So, her not having that is, like, fine. That's okay. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like Huntress is actually in a pretty good spot. So, I don't know. Can't do anything anymore, really. So why are we touching Huntress now? Made for this? You can't say, She's like, made for this, because, like, made for this, like, only goes off. Like, the 3% only goes off in Deep Wounds, so, like, nobody runs that anymore. <laughs> like, I, I went from having, like, three made for this a game to, like, having, like, made for this, like, once an hour, if that, of matches. So I don't think that's part of the meta anymore. He's a fine killer. Why, why are we devoting time and energy to reworking Huntress and updating Huntress? Why? I don't understand it. Demogorgon. Demogorgon is like a perfect killer. He's like a perfectly, literally a perfectly designed killer, bro. He's a perfectly designed killer. His power is perfect. His 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 mobility is perfect. His add-ons are really good. Yeah, to me, something Why like are uh, we Coin? fucking touching yeah. Demogorgon right now when he's one of the most perfect killers in the game. Unless you're buffing him. If you're buffing him, I'm all for it. If you nerf him in any way, what the fuck are we doing? I feel like, yeah, somebody said it earlier, I forget who, but, like, the idea that making the portals a little bit more handy would be nice. Because so many demos just, like, forego their portals. It would be nice to incentivize using the portals a little bit more. Yeah. The clown. Straight buffs across the board. And the, 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 the one nerf I would accept the clown is if you, if you nerf his pinky finger. So you nerf that shit that, uh, you know, makes people exposed. If you nerf that, fine, whatever. I don't give a shit because that, that add-on is, you know, people find that stupid. I never use the add-on, but if anything else, you need to up his base kit bottles, the, how many bottles he gets. You need to I do think it's weird that they made you throw twice as many bottles as Clown, but didn't give you any more bottles base. <laughs> I think it is kind of, like, odd. So it's a little weird. <laughs> I do agree with that. Um, and also, obviously, you should... Uh, finally take away the distortion on his uh, bottles when people stop getting motion sick. Fucking um, make it to where his yellow bottles are easier to use and better to use. That's the only thing you need to be doing with Clown. If you nerf him in any other way but removing that pinky finger add-on, I don't fucking understand what's going on. I don't get it. The doctor. The doctors are Why are we one. touching the doctor? Yeah, we... That, what's wrong with the one. doctor? You see, this is so confusing. Let, let, let me explain why this is so confusing. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention there we work in twins. Great, great, that's good. <laughs> this is why it's so confusing to me. 
why is why is Michael Myers not being mentioned? Why is Freddy not being mentioned? Yeah, that, which means it's why? which means those are not coming until because this is only the first six months. So those are not coming till late twenty twenty four. That's what that means. So those are way 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 down the line. Why? Why is fucking Pyramid Head's at horrible add-ons except for like two not being mentioned? Why is Nemesis horrible add-ons except for like one or two not being mentioned? Why is Night not being mentioned? Why what? is Singularity not being mentioned? Singularity? That this is confusing oh. because there are so many hmm? Oops, sorry. three gen survivors. I'm Oops, not sorry. I pressed a button. Yes, the shit concerns the fuck out of me. You keep saying right? that. That's his life. Moving on to the perks. The shit. When we have other killers in the game that are in dire need of fucking repairs and they're horrible and their add ons suck and their base kit's fucking trash. Like, what the fuck are we doing? I don't understand it. So, whatever the fuck behavior is doing with these killers, the shit concerns the fuck out of me. It concerns All right. You. Moving on to the perks. So, the perks being updated are Save the Best for Last, Grim Embrace, Quick Gambit, Shadowborn, Monitor and Abuse. Um, sloppy butcher, ultimate weapon, decisive strike. Now let me let me touch on decisive strike, not decisive strike. Sorry, touch on save the best for last and sloppy butcher. Uh -huh. I knew they were gonna do this shit. I fucking called this shit, bro. I called it. I said that after they nerf the fuck out of eruption, after they butcher Jin slow down, they're gonna someday uh -oh. come for uh -oh. save the best for last and sloppy butcher. Uh -oh. And now they're coming for it. And it's irritating because I already know what's going to happen. These perks have high pick rates. Mm -hmm. So they are about to absolutely butcher new to the fuck out of these perks into the ground. That's what they're going to do. That concerns the fuck out of me. Because if you neuter say the best of last, which I know that's what you're going to fucking do. If you do that, you are going to render certain M1 killers fucking useless. I think it's like, like we were talking about, like, like you guys just mentioned, um, uh... Mangled, if you're changing Mangled, you're gonna have to change Sloppy. So it's whatever change comes through Mangled, that's how we're gonna have to like look through the lens of Sloppy. I feel like if perk it, perk updates, like they may not just be like nerfing save into the ground. They may be trying to incentivize like different gameplay with it. Cause right now, basically what you do is you just chase three people and then you just ignore one the entire game. So like they could be changing like the way the gameplay, you know, goes with the perk in general. Um, so it's not like they're just going to outright nerf it. It's probably not going to be as good as it is now. I will say that, but it, it doesn't mean they're nerfing it into the ground necessarily. For sloppy butcher, that is some of the only slowdown we have in dead by daylight now because they're, they're pain res. One of the best slowdowns in the game. If not outright pop. Very, very good. Surge is still a great. What do we, what do you mean? What do you mean sloppy's like the only slowdown? Oh. Huh? They're touching up, they're updating the mangle. They're literally Grim Embrace is over here. Grim Embrace is a slowdown that they're adjusting. And in Grim Embrace, you can't make worse. It's already pretty bad. So they're buffing one over here, so it's like, eh. Hey Rith, it's good to see you. Full status effect. So I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make the shit stronger. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make this shit stronger. They're probably gonna neuter it. They're probably gonna nerf it. So if they do that, they're taking away a primary means of our slowdown to where we can at least make survivors walk around injured if they're gonna do all this shit fast as fuck anyway. And it's gonna be hard for me to down fucking people. At least I can one hit them, one shot them if I find them with Simon Butcher. That may not be possible anymore. So that fucking worries me. That worries me a lot. I'm not going to touch on Grim Embrace quick. I think in general, I think in general, we do need to move away from Gen Rush versus Gen Slowdown. It's just a meta in the game because it has been a meta in the game for an extremely long time. So I feel like Gen Rush versus Gen Slowdown does need to just kind of like slowly uh, be tapered out of the game. Gambit, Shadowborn, Mars. At least that's the abuse. meta. That's like um, the main thing. Ultimate, was, ultimate was fucking stupid and needed to be nerfed. Just screaming and randomly revealing your position. That's fucking dumb. Um, really? What I am concerned about. I think it's fine. I just think it doesn't need the blindness and it could like have a slightly longer cooldown. I think it's fine. You just need to make it like not so readily available nonstop.
I think that's the only thing. Oh, the behavior has... So this is what I'm so concerned. What does Grim Embrace do? Uh, once you forehook the entire team, every gen of the map gets blocked, but it's only for like 20 seconds or something like that. It's not a lot. Like, literally, Dead Man's does that job better throughout the match. <laughs> With perks. Behavior has a history a 30? of over-tuning things and over-nerfing things. So they either buff them way fucking out of proportion to what they are, and they make them broken, or they nerf them into obscurity, and there's no fucking middle ground. So I'm concerned about these perks they've mentioned. Decisive it's 40. Strike. That's still not the a lot. The only thing Decisive Strike needs is it needs to be, if you get off the hook and you have Decisive Strike, the shit doesn't go down if you get tunneled. So, like, if you get off the hook and, and, you, and you're getting tunneled, the timer doesn't go down. As long as you're in chase, the timer does not go down. That would be nice. People are just that before. Be I don't know. That, that, would, that would be cool for Decisive Strike. But I hope they don't buff it about the five seconds. They don't need to do that. Three seconds is fine. As long as they, you know, maybe they is up it? the timer or they just make it to where the timer doesn't go down if you actually get fucking tunneled. All right. I think, like, uh, what I always said was that, like, uh, when you actually DS stun the killer, there's no, like, uh, drop to the floor. Because, like, right now, you stun the killer and then you have to drop to the floor and then you can move. I, I I always thought that you should be able to just, like, the moment you DS, you have control of your character. So you could, like, get to a loop easier. All right. So I, I'm, I'm very worried about the fucking perks. I really am. So I don't really give a shit about the FOV slider. I won't talk about that. Really? Um, solution for 3-gen. What's quality life What is going to be their solution for 3-gen? What is it going to be? I didn't even really know 3-gen was a thing anymore. I mean, I guess because I don't fucking 3-gen survivors. I'm not even able to 3-gen survivors, really. Usually, they break up 3-gens, like, as soon as I get into the fucking match. I mean, I 3-gen th them sometimes, maybe. But, like, I, I thought it was harder now. I thought it was supposed to be harder now without Eruption, Call of Brian, Overcharge, whatever the fuck. So, what's going to be their solution? Are they going to space gens out? Are they going to make the final 3-gens if they're really close to each other? Are they going to make them go faster? Like, what, I would is, hate what that. is going to be the solution? I would hate that. I, right? I would hate if they did it's, that. It seems like they're taking away all the avenues for killers to be successful. That's what it fucking seems like. I don't. That's what it seems like. And that's not okay. Well, that's because it's like kill rates are really high. That's because kill rates are really high. Like, even before a lot of, like, the updates that have happened in, like, the past, like, six months, like, kill rates are really high. So that's why they're looking to kind of, like, tone down some of this stuff because, you know, ideally you want it to be kind of, like, somewhere vaguely in the middle, but, like, most killers do 3 or 4K, and the stats reflect that, so... Like, guys, we lost... We lost one game in three and a half hours of play. Do you understand that? What other game could I not lose more than once in three and a half hours of gameplay? I, that's wild. That's wild that I can get away with winning that much in three and a half hours. Kill rates are super high. Super high. So. Oh. Mm. Okay. Because what, what that's going to lead to, right? And I know people are going to fucking get into the conversation. Hey, my guy, you're killing me. No, listen to me. What that's going to lead to, if you take away all the avenues for killers to be successful, or most of the avenues, that is going to lead to you seeing more fucking sweaty nurses, sweaty spirits, sweaty fucking artists, and whatever artists? have you. Artists? And that's going to lead to people being fucking ruthless as fuck, which means they're going to get into the game and they're going to tunnel the fuck out of you. And they're just going to beat the ass of one survivor and, and get them out of the game so it's as quickly as one as quickly a 1v3 as possible. That's why I'm worried about them taking away our avenues for slowdown. Like Sloppy Butcher. Like giving M1 killers a, a, a fucking, actually, a, a fucking speed boost to their cooldown. Not for the copularity. Like saving us <laughs> for last. So that, this, this, fucking, this fucking roadmap worries me because of behavior's track record. Right, my Charles, welcome back. I could be completely wrong. Maybe they're going to do something masterful. But fuck, dude, I don't have a lot to go on to base, base that on that they're actually going to do that shit. Yeah. If you don't have anything to say, I'm it's going to be terrible either. Anyway, what do you think about these upcoming changes? You don't have any, like, evidence it's going to be as bad as you say either. Like, it's a, it, that is a two-way statement, right? That's a two-way statement. It's always, if you take away XYZ, we're going to be forced to tunnel. Yeah, it's almost like a threat, right? 
People say that on both sides. It's like, if you take away my XYZ, I'm going to be mad. If you take away my Sloppy Butcher, I'm just going to tunnel more and play Nurse more. Uh, there are people that are on Survivor. It's like, you take away, if you take away my Made for this, I'm just going to bring brand new parts a bunch to just speed through my matches then. Um, <laughs> so it's like, I think it's a, that's a nothing burger of a, of a statement because like, yeah, like if you were, it feels like, yeah, it just feels like a threat, like a hollow threat of like, don't take away my stuff or I'm going to be mad, <laughs> you know, because, well, it sounds like you were going to end up doing that way anyway at some point. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that, Jack. It's like they haven't elaborated on what these changes are actually going to be. It's all just conjecture at this point. It's okay to be like, you know, worried about certain things. Like, I don't know why they're changing. Like, <laughs> a lot of these characters in this, like, center zone don't really need changes, in my opinion. Or the changes would be a, a little uh, concerning. Uh, like, the, like, their changes should be, like, really um, light, and it's concerning that they're here. So, hopefully it's like they don't adjust these too much. Um, but, I don't know. It, it seems like it's kind of just, like, I don't know. I don't want to be negative, perhaps, but it, it does seem a little doomsday. And th this isn't like an unheard of perspective for when the, uh, this roadmap released. A lot of killer mains and the people that primarily play killer or play killer majority of the time or only play killer were, you know, kind of up in arms about the changes. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like if and I, I'm somebody who plays, you know, 50 50. Um, and does love playing killer and I don't look at this and I see like oh well my role is gonna as a whole my role as a whole is gonna get uh nerfed I just think some things are gonna be brought more in line um and I say this like in a lot of these videos is if you're relying on three gens if you're relying on sloppy if you're relying on save to win a majority of your games like I think over reliance on any perk or strategy is not good for consistent gameplay see our match reviews <laughs> that I post on the YouTube. Um, so I feel like if you're heavily relying on any of these perks, that so much that it just like throws off like your game entirely, it's like, I don't know. That's not, that's you're already not in a good place. But you got to take this with a grain of salt because you don't know what they're actually changing. And until they start talking about it, and talking about what they're actually changing then we can have conversations then we can be like okay well abc is a bad idea abc is a good idea so yeah it doesn't really serve us anything to get kind of worked up and upset uh over essentially nothing so far <laughs>